guys, it's Rach and welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. Wow, we're like more than halfway there, that's crazy. I've just been filming, I just filmed a makeup tutorial for this look, which is why I've got like so much makeup on. It's like a glamorous Christmas party look, which will hopefully go up in the next couple of days. Well, it has to go up in the next couple of days, so I'm probably going to spend the rest of the day editing. I am just setting up at the moment to film a little kind of mini Christmas gift guide. I'm a little bit, and when I say a little bit, I'm a lot late for uh, filming this, but I've just, I've run out of time, and I just, next year, I didn't really plan on doing a gift guide, and then I found some things, so maybe now that I've, now that I'll do one, uh, next year I'll be a little bit more on the ball and do it early, but I'm going to film this, and then I'll be back with you guys. <laughs> I just realized I should show you guys. I'm in my typical filming attire, which is done on the top and pajamas and bare feet on the bottom. Because I just really can't be bothered and it's so hot, except I happen to have the sniffles as well, which is not good. I really don't want to be getting sick just before Christmas, just before I'm about to go on holidays, but we'll see how we go. I have to try and like stop every few minutes and like fix my voice before I can continue on filming, but we're gonna see how we go. Okay guys, so I'm back. I've filmed a few videos since I last saw you, plus did like all the little in shots and little bits and pieces. It just takes so long to film and I was having an off day so that probably didn't help. And now I'm starving because I don't know what the time is. It's like, oh, what is that? 10 past 2 now and um, I haven't really eaten anything all day, which is really, really bad of me. I'm just trying to like re-put back together my room, which always takes forever after I have been filming. But at least I got some videos done, which was good. This is kind of what a lot of my Sundays are like, which so I guess you guys are getting a little bit of an insight into my life on days when I film. Usually, unless I've got something planned, there's not a lot else. Sorry, my... I'm like losing my voice. There's not a lot else I can do because the setting up of my room, the finding all the stuff, the like then putting everything sort of back together again and then trying to edit if I need to get something up like Monday or Tuesday. Um, it takes up most of the day. But what I did want to do for today's Vlogmas, and I probably should put the hat back on one sec. Okay, hat is back on. Um, what I did want to do for today's Vlogmas is give you a quick little like bookshelf tour and maybe show you guys some of my like Christmas ebooks. I know over here I have um, Debbie McComber's and this one is a Christmas book that I like. It's called Call Me Mrs. Miracle. Apparently it's a Hallmark Channel original movie. I haven't been able to find it. I want to try and find it on DVD or something like that because I would like to um, see it but it was just like a really sort of feel good Christmas story um, I don't know. I just, I like Christmas books like that. So if you're looking for a Christmas book, I would recommend that one. That one is good. Before we go out to the bookshelf, what we might do is the Vlogmas calendar because I am hungry. So Vlogmas day number 15 up here. Um, I've already got my magical elf, so I'm going to guess hundreds and thousands. Oh my goodness, seriously, another Dairy Milk chocolate. If you guys guessed Dairy Milk, then congratulations. This has to be the last Dairy Milk, surely. I feel like we've gotten so many Dairy Milks, like crazy amount of Dairy Milks. And I'm gonna try and open this one handed. Look at me, I'm becoming all vlogger-esque and being able to do things one handed. It's nuts. Uh. Maybe not completely one-handed. Look guys, I'm eating chocolate on camera. I don't think I've done that at all this Vlogmas. I did it heaps last Vlogmas. Let's go to bookshops. <laughs> Let there be light in this place. So. <laughs> oh, let's turn the light on. Now I just realized my dad might be sleeping so I gotta be kinda of quiet but I've shown you guys this before. These are our bookshelves which are from IKEA and a lot of these are my books so a whole heap of romance novels and stuff here. I have Laurie Wilde which I love. I also have these books by Shirley Jump. 
Cheryl Woods, Jane Graves. I love these books. Tall Towels and Wedding Veils, Hot, Heel, Hot Wheels and High Heels. These are great. This um, series by Kate Angel, this uh, baseball series. Absolutely love it. I also love this series by Julie Oriton. got Carly Phillips here, Joe Davis, this fire... Fire, what is it? Firefighters of Station 5 series is really good. Also, some Nora Roberts up there. Lisa K, plus Maureen Childs. Of course, you've got to have Harry Potter. A ton of Susan Mallory. Like, these are all. This one I think is too deep. These ones here are three books deep. I have all my little black dress books in behind there. These are some of my mum's books. Some of mine, Bella Andre was mine. This one's by Hilary Duff, which is actually not too bad. I didn't get to read the next book, but I should. Jill Shalvis is another one of my favourite authors. These are all the um, Lucky Harbour novels. Would highly recommend them. I also really love these by Deidre Martin. These are based on a, basically around a hockey team. I love sort of sports teams as books. I don't know, I always really get into them and they make for a good like long storyline because you can have a lot of players in a hockey team. This is another favourite series of mine. I don't have the very first one. I've read it, but not on book. This is by Susan Elizabeth Phillips. Um, this Heart of Mine, Dream a Little Dream. Match me if you can. I just, they're all really, really good books. I would recommend them. Christmas books here. This is Christmas on 4th Street, which I read this season, and um, Fool's Gold Christmas, both of which um, are part of the Fool's Gold series. Would highly recommend. These are the Christmas specials and I love them. How pretty is this cover? It has like sparkles, although I've got no light to hopefully pick it up, but it's really, really pretty. Twilight all the way up there. I have the Becca Fitzpatrick books. These ones in this level are kind of my sisters, but I've read them as well, or some of them. Then we move down to some of my mum's old books. And then we've got kitty books over here. This goes three deep and this has all like my books from my teenagers years. This series here, which is um, Diary of a Crush, was one of my favourites, as was this one by Kate Can. Um, loved those series. I also loved Cupid Painted Blind, The Last Summer by of You and Me by Anne Brescia, one of my favourites. Meg Cabot was one of my favourite authors as well. She's awesome. Love her books. And of course we've got the Fifty Shades of Grey down here. I read those books before the hype, so I feel like I beat the um, hype. And then up there, guys, I have some books by Judith McNaught um, and, sorry, and Linda Howard. Would highly recommend them. She does an awesome, um, what's it called? Like a thriller slash, um, thriller slash romance novel. Like she really does both genres really well and when she puts them together they are awesome like you were freaked out but also totally in love with the couple like it's crazy would highly recommend Mr. Perfect also um To Die For and Drop Dead Gorgeous uh in the same kind of series Dream Man is also a really good one as well After the Night all of those I would recommend and Every Breath You Take by Judith McMort oh my gosh heart-wrenching but an awesome romance novel would highly recommend that so that is my little shelf here. Oh, these ones here. This is the Alaska Night series, and I have the third one, except, or well, the third one, the second one somewhere. My mum's reading that at the moment. These are by Addison Fox. These are set in Alaska, and at some point they do hit Christmas time as well, so I like those because they're kind of Christmassy. And then I think in a box down here, yeah, I have a whole heap of like these Harley Quinn kind of, or Mills and Boone like anthologies that are all to do with Christmas so I would recommend any of those kind of books if you're just looking for a Christmassy read they're usually pretty cheap you usually get multiple books in one and they are just a great Christmas read so guys that was my bookshelf kind of a random little vlog um I probably oh my gosh I don't know I can't be getting sick I don't want to be getting sick but I think I will end the vlog for today because I have to catch up on editing yesterday and Friday night's vlog plus the beauty videos that I have filmed today and I've got to go get something to eat because I'm about to faint um, and I need a tissue. So I'm going to end the vlog here today. I hope you guys are all doing really well and having a nice weekend and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye! Bye.